Hello there, welcome to Plague for Plague's Sake, episode one. I'm Michael Bukowski, I'm an artist and perfumer of the people. I'm here to guide you through past, present and future pandemics by looking at some of the plague cures historically used and seeing if we can recreate some of those using the materials at our disposal. So today for the very first episode I thought it would be uh, a dead easy perfume to make um, which has connotations associated with uh, warding off the plague and it's very simply a rose based perfume and all we're going to be using is rose uh, fragrance oil, rose water and perfumer's alcohol. We're going to use 20 ml of perfumer's alcohol, we're going to use 10 ml of rose water and we're going to use uh, five drops or 0.25 grams of the rose fragrance oil. So all you do uh, is you also take a bottle of course, we're going to be making 30 ml altogether. Um, so take the bottle and first of all use your rose fragrance oil and drop five drops into the bottle. Uh, then take your perfumer's alcohol and add that directly into the bottle. And it smells very delicate, um, obviously we're using uh, rose uh, oil. So historically, you, uh, pretty much any floral scent has had some sort of association with trying to ward off uh, plague simply because it smells nice and that nice smell sort of um, defeats the inherently bad um, plague or disease. Uh, but you can use any um, uh, fragrance that you like that's um, floral. Uh, I prefer to use rose oil because I like the connotations it has with uh, Ring of Roses, the uh, sort of plague based poem if you like. Um, Ring of Roses was um, reference the actual uh, marks on the body. Obviously that's not the case here, but it's still quite a neat reference. So finally we're going to add the rose water. And then we're going to give it all a bit of a shake. It's going to take two minutes altogether to uh, create an even fragrance. Um, I won't bore you by spending two minutes um, finishing this one off. Um, after you've done that you can decorate it. I've used um, some tape and um, some stickers and pen to uh, decorate my particular bottle and here it is. And that's it, great, great little fragrance. Uh, simply uh, a floral fragrance should ward off the plague nicely. Thanks very much.